Hello and welcome to Capital Online TV. My name is Anita Nderu and these are the stories making headlines. ICC prosecutor Fatsu bin Suda has been allowed to appeal a decision in which he wants Kenya referred to the Assembly of State Parties for non-cooperation in the case against President Uhuru Kenyatta. Trial Chamber 5B judges have allowed the prosecution to challenge its decision in which it denied Ben Suda her application seeking to refer Kenya to the ASB on December 3, 2014. At the Appeals Chamber, the judges will decide if the Trial 5B has discretion to make a finding on non-compliance. It will also decide if the matter should be referred to the ASB and if Trial Chamber 5B erred in its decision to deny the prosecution to refer Kenya to the ASB. President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Ruto led the Jubilee Alliance Party in a campaign for their candidate in next Monday's Kajiado Central by-election. President Kenyatta and the Deputy President led the push for Patrick Ole Tutui, who in 2013 came second to Cabinet Secretary Major General Joseph Kayseri. The by-election was called after President Kenyatta picked Kayseri to become a Cabinet Secretary. <laughs> ni kama tofauti ya mchana na usiku. Wale jamaa wanajulikana. Kazi yao ni makelele, matusi, maandamano na mawe. Mimi Patrick Oletutui. Naomba wote kwa heshima. Kina mama, kina baba, Vijana, wanangu, naomba wote kwamba tarehe kumi na sita Naomba wanumu nipigie kura Tumekubaliana Mutanipatia Hamutaniaibisha Asandi sana Wenzangu, mumekubali kupatia huyu ndugu yangu kura Mumekubali mtamuunga mkono na muunga serikali yetu mkono Ebu nionesheni tena kwa mkono tafadhalini as the leaders campaign, a voter from Kajiado Central was in court seeking to stop the by-election on grounds that JAP is not legally registered. Ntesero Naimau Watiye wants the mini-poll halted, saying JAP candidate Patrick Tutui has been illegally and unlawfully nominated and cleared by the IEBC to participate in the by-election. The voter insists that JAP is not a political party under the Constitution and the Political Parties Act 2011 and cannot purport to sponsor a candidate to take part in any general or by-election. <laughs> Kina baba, vijana, wanangu, naomba wote kwamba tarehe kumi na sita. Naomba wanumu nipigie kura. Tumekubaliana, mutanipatia, hamutaniaibisha, asandi sana. And in other news making headlines, a member of the Kiambu County Assembly has been missing for more than 24 hours despite a desperate search by his family and police. Juja Word MCA Samuel Gitao is said to have left his home on Friday evening, but only his car was found at his gate on Saturday morning. The MCA's wife Tabitha Wanjiku has however expressed hope of finding her husband alive after it turned out that the reports of a body found near a coffee plantation were false. <laughs> Na hakukuwa na masungumzo ingine. Sawa, shugulike na mamba ya kumtafuta. Eh, ni matumaini yangu watapatika na hakiwa hai. Eh. EGG Pay is a new service from Nairobi City County aimed at making life easier for residents. You can now pay your parking fees with EGG Pay conveniently with no hassle. No more hide and seek with parking attendants. No more tickets. No more bribes. To pay your parking fee with EGG Pay, first create your e-wallet if you haven't. Dial star 217 hash. Enter your details as prompted and create your e-payment pin. Top up your e-wallet via M-Pesa or Airtel Money using business number 147147 and your phone number as the account number. Finally, you can pay for your parking by dialing star 217 hash select two for parking select either one for daily enter vehicle registration number select your closest area number select vehicle category confirm payment transaction confirm your eggp pin 
then await a text message for confirmation. The process will take you just five minutes, but will go a long way in making your life easier. For more information, go to epayments.nairobi.go.ke or call 0788-200-000. EGG Pay means your right to expect service. EGG Pay, malipo kwa urahisi. And now on to the business news. A solar-powered plane set off from Abu Dhabi on Monday in a bid to make the first round-the-world tour. The 400-kilometer maiden leg to the Omani capital, Muscat, was expected to take around 12 hours. From Muscat, it will take 12 stops on an epic journey spread over five months with a total flight time of around 25 days. The longest single leg will see a lone pilot fly non-stop for five days and nights across the Pacific Ocean between Nanjing, China and Hawaii, a distance of 8,500 kilometers. And these are the top three gainers and losers on the Nairobi Stock Exchange. And now on to the international news and light-hearted news at that, hundreds of naked Australians took to the road on Sunday. The cyclists who painted messages on their bodies said they were out to promote environmental awareness and the benefits of cycling. Cyclists should be one of our number one priorities. Uh, cyclists reduce congestions on our road, they, they increase traffic speed, they increase fitness, fitness and well-being amongst the community and it's just good fun. They call me help! with your name on it at your nearest outlet and share happiness with your friends. And finally, on to the sports news. Manchester United and Arsenal are set for an epic FA Cup quarter-final clash at the Old Trafford on Monday. This would be the highest profile fixture between the arch enemies in six years, with United boss Louise Van Gaal seeking his first trophy against champions Arsenal's Arsene Wenger, who has lifted the cup five times. And that's all we had for you today. For the latest on these and other stories, log on to www.capitalaffirm.co.ke forward slash TV. I'm Anita Darrow.